Hey guys, Jason here with Metal Arcade, and today we're taking a look at the Kingdom Hearts 3 Series 1 line of action figures from Diamond Select. Thanks to Diamond Select for making this review possible. As you can see, the figures are packaged in a nice window display box, so you can easily view the figures and their accessories. Diamond Select Center were two packs, one with Donald and Goofy, and one with Sora and Maleficent. Donald comes with his magic wand, and Goofy comes with his shield with the Mickey Mouse icon. The side of the packaging has the Kingdom Hearts 3 logo, and the back of the box features promotional images of the figures. Sora comes with his trademark Keyblade, this one being the Shooting Star version, and Maleficent comes with her magic wand, and Diablo, her pet raven. So first we're going to take a look at Sora, and I really like how they designed him. I think he looks like he stepped right out of the video game. He has some nice head articulation, and you can make him look up, down, left, and right. The arms lift up and rotate at the shoulders. The elbows hinge and rotate, and the hands rotate. The elbows do seem a little bit flimsy though, so I would be careful with those. There's no rotation at the waist, however you can rotate and bend the knees, and also rotate the boots. The legs can be raised forward, but they don't really go backwards at all. Diamond Select did a really nice job on the sculpt here, and every zipper, belt, and buckle on Sora is sculpted in 3D here, which is cool. Once again, the paint applications look great, and even fine details like the plaid on the inside of Sora's jacket are razor sharp. I didn't see any bleeding or blotches on these figures at all, which is impressive. You can see that the chain on Sora's necklace is actually sculpted in 3D, as well as the zipper on his jacket, which just shows a huge attention to detail. There's some nice sculpting in his hair, and his shooting star keyblade looks great as well. The chain at the end of the keyblade is actually sculpted separately and attached at a ring so it dangles, which is a really cool touch. Moving on to Maleficent, we have a bit more of a simplified design, but there's still some nice sculpting in her robes, her pet raven, and her horns. I like the colors they used for her green skin and her purple eye makeup, but aside from that, this figure is mostly black. Maleficent definitely has the least amount of articulation out of all the figures, as she can only rotate very slightly at the waist, bend her elbows in, and turn her head slightly. Since her robe is molded in plastic and not actual cloth, it really restricts her articulation. Goofy's sculpt looks nice, and once again there's a lot of detail in the zippers and belts and buckles. His vest here is completely sculpted in 3D, which is kind of odd because in his Vinnie Mates figure he was the only one who didn't have a sculpted 3D vest, but I'm glad they added the extra detail for this version. The threads and folds in his clothing and also his goggles are nicely sculpted. Goofy is far more articulated than Maleficent, but definitely less articulated than Sora. He can bend his legs forwards and backwards at the hip joint, he can turn his head up, down, left, and right, and he can rotate at the shoulders, but that's about it. For some weird reason, they decided not to give him any elbow or knee joints like Sora has, which is definitely odd because he comes with a shield, but you can only have it extended out at his side instead of held in close to protect him. You can see that his belt and his belt buckle are sculpted in 3D, as well as every thread on his zipper on his jacket, which is really impressive. Once again, there's no shading here, and they're only using flat colors for all these figures. With Donald, you can swivel his feet around, and his arms rotate at the shoulders, but that's about it. Donald's arms and legs are super short, so there's really no point to him even having joints in his elbows and knees. Once again, we've got some nice sculpting with a little tuft of hair on his head, and all of his pockets and lapels and buckles are all sculpted in 3D. His head moves up, down, and side to side, and his hands can also rotate. I forgot to mention this earlier, but Sora and Goofy can also both do a split. Overall, I definitely think these are really cool figures for any Kingdom Hearts fan. They're beautifully painted and sculpted, and at least Sora has some really nice articulation. The other figures could definitely use some extra joints. When you have them all lined up on your shelf though, it looks really nice, and I think any Kingdom Hearts fan will definitely want to pick up these figures. Leave a like if you enjoyed this review, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.